All right, ladies and gentlemen, my name is High and Fiverr, and today I want to talk a little bit about Darius. Now, this is not going to be a Champion Spotlight-esque video where I just showcase myself running around getting a bunch of kills because nobody cares. It's really easy to do with Darius, and it's not what I want to do. What I want to do today is, this is something I've seen on the forums, I've had this discussion with my friends, I know a lot of people are out there saying that Garen is this awful character now, and Darius is better in every way. And... I disagree with that. I have loved Garen. I've played League of Legends for about two years now, roughly, and I've loved Garen almost that entire time. He's been one of my favorite characters from way back in the day when you could stack Sunfire capes and he was needed to be nerfed. Like, he was awesome. And you know, now that Darius came out, in fact, they're very comparable characters when you think about it. They both have you know, their utility spell, they both have an on-hit amplifier, a spin, and an execution ultimate. And that's why people are saying he's better than Garrett. Darius is. And I disagree with that. I wanted to look at the numbers. The footage in the background here is the first and only time I've actually gotten the chance to play the matchup. I've tried to get it a couple times, and I, I didn't. But uh, and honestly, the footage really isn't that good. It doesn't really showcase what I learned in the last day or so when I took a look at the numbers. But after learning what I, what I did, I th would feel that I know how to play the matchup a lot better, and I would showcase a better outing when I played against Darius the next time. And what I wanted to do is just show you guys what I found, because I think it was interesting what I, what I discovered. I won't go too, too in-depth with a lot of the numbers and stuff, but we'll take a look at them. Start with the base stats. I'm not going to read them all off. What I will tell you is... Garen has higher base stats in every category except for attack speed. Mana, obviously, Darius has more, but Garen is manaless, so it doesn't matter. Now, Garen has less armor, HP regen, and AD scaling, but for armor and HP regen, he actually has his passive and then his W, which give him those stats for free. So it doesn't matter as much. If, Dar if Garen had really good armor scaling, plus the fact that his courage gives him 25 extra stats be a little tough to deal with but you know and at the end of the day the ad scaling Darius gets two extra ad than garen does so it's not even a big deal now as far as what we're going to talk about for their abilities and stuff I play Garen the way I feel he's meant to be played, and I'm looking at you people who think Garen is a tank because you're wrong. You're dumb, uh, and I'm sorry if you take offense to that, but you are. He is not a tank. He doesn't have any CC. He needs to be in the fight doing damage, so you need to have some damage abilities or damage items on him, and typically when I play, I get you know, uh, the typical tanky DPS. I have 140 to 180 of both resistances and a lot of damage. You know, I have about 300 damage. And I feel like that's how you're supposed to play Garen. And that is what I took into account when I did the numbers. And so they might seem off to you, and if that's because you play tank Garen, that's why. Passive, I'm not even going to get into it, because I'll tell you, I'll just tell you Darius. When he gets 5 stacks of hemorrhage on you, at level 18, he does 180 damage over 5 seconds, plus... 0.4 bonus AD on top of that, so you're probably going to be taking almost 300 damage, depending on what you what you built. Maybe like 260-ish, if I'm just throwing a rough guess out there, because I really don't feel like doing math at this point. It's pretty early in the morning for me. And Garen's passive, well, Garen's passive is fine in lane if you can kind of get in, Q spin on them, and then walk away without taking too much damage, because by the time your cooldowns are off, you're probably going to be close to full health again anyway. But Darius, better passive infinitely. Darius gets that point. So right now, 1-1. One to one. For their utility spells, Darius gains passive armor pen, and he pulls enemies in a small cone in front of him. Garen gets passive armor and magic resist up to a cap from farming, and when he activates the spell, he takes percentage less damage from all attacks and abilities for 3 seconds. Now, in terms of a 1-point wonder, Garen's is infinitely better. 5 armor pen, who even cares? It's not that much. Uh, 
what, 25 free armor and MR, that's a good chunk. Especially when early on, if you get that at level 4, you can have that extra 25 armor and MR by the time you want to go back a second or third time. So, in that sense, Garen's got the advantage. But in team fighting, Darius's is more disruptive. Garen's certainly makes him more durable, and he can. He's one of the few champions in the game that can reduce true damage, magic damage, all damage. And the fact that he gets the free stats, I, I want to give the point to Garen. But you know, that one's really up to personal preference simply because, you know, if you want to be a little bit more disruptive, obviously Darius is better. But the pull, the range of the pull is 550. The range on his Q is 425 and his auto attacks are 125. So you almost have to be in range to Q in order to pull anything. And the reason that's not good is because Darius doesn't have a gap closer and he doesn't have any innate tanking abilities. So, he can get focused down a little bit and kind of get in a pretty rough situation. He's not like other characters who can be the first one into the fight. You can't do that. You, Even if you have a lot of tanking items, you're not going to be that great if you're the first one in. They can focus you down pretty quickly. Whereas Garen can be the first one in because he has ways to deal with all incoming damage and some CC as well, which we'll talk about in a second here. So I'm going to give that point to Garen. They're on hit amplifiers. Garen in his next auto attack, he gets mo bonus movement speed and bonus damage on his next auto attack and silences the enemy struck for two and a half seconds. Darius's next auto attack deals bonus damage and it slows the enemy movement and attack speed for two seconds. Slow early on is 20%, it goes up to 40%. Garen goes I think from 15 to 35 with his movement speed increase and in terms of damage I was actually surprised when I put in the numbers I found out that Garen does more damage with his Q than Darius does with his W and in terms of the utility I like Garen's more slow is nice if you're chasing but Garen's Q the movement speed increase is a gap closer so it can be used to chase or it can be used as an escape. It's a mini ghost. If you are warding properly, which you should be doing, if you see the enemy jungler coming, if you're caught a little bit too far away from your tower, just hit your Q and you walk away, which is great. Um, the only time that's not really useful is in terms of the Garen versus Darius matchup is if you're kind of on each other and he can just pull you back. But you know, overall, I think the usefulness on Garen's Q is better than the utility on Darius's W. And the fact that Garen does more damage, surprisingly, I didn't actually think that would be the case. But, you know, uh, Garen gets the advantage. A and the silence is probably a better utility than the slow. So, in fact, Garen has double utility on his spell, which just gives him an extra advantage on that. And what does he do after he Qs? Well, we get to talk about spins. Now, Darius' spin, quick spin, instant cast, deals damage to all enemies around him, and the outer half is the blade of the axe, which does an extra 50% damage. The maximum damage, if you hit with the shaft, is 210 plus 0.7 AD, uh, and then the max damage, if you hit with the blade, is 315 plus 1.05 bonus AD. And unfortunately, when I put in the numbers on the builder it didn't actually show you how much damage you did max uh, and it, you can't just add 50% damage because the scaling changes etc but I want to say it's around 6-700 between that range if you land with the axe at max level based off how I've built Darius so we're going to go with that as a, as a guesstimate and we'll talk about the comparison afterwards Garen, he spins for 3 seconds he removes any existing slows he reduces any incoming slows by 50%, and then he deals damage to everything hit with the ability to crit. The only damage that is amplified if you crit is the bonus AD, which is the ratio, and the max damage you can do if you spin on somebody for 3 seconds is 630 plus 4.2 bonus AD. Now, that's a lot. Now, at max rank, based off how I've built Garen, you are doing 513 damage a second. So, uh, if you are doing true damage, which you're obviously not, because they're going to have armor 
and all of that stuff. 1500 damage over 3 seconds compared to 6 to 700. And it has utility. Sorry, Darius players. Garen wins. Now, the ultimate is where things kind of fall apart for Garen. Where Garen's is nice is it's an instant cast, but they're both execute abilities. And the fact that Darius's is true damage compared to magic damage. In fact, if Garen's did physical damage, it would infinitely be a better spell than it is already. Just because you are already going to have, you know, that armor penetration so it'll actually do almost its full damage but obviously Darius does true damage and it refreshes if you get a kill with it which is very easy as mentioned in his champion spotlight each box of health uh, on a champion's HP bar is 100 health and if you can do basic math in your head and St. Vicious said if you can do basic math you win the game so it's very easy to pick up multiple kills with Darius's ultimate now, in a straight 1v1 fight, Garen will win. Simply because it's the instant cast time. Darius has that one second delay due to his leap up to, to come down. But in team fights, the fact that Darius can use it multiple times, Darius wins. And unfortunately, at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if Garen has better numbers, better stats, more damage, and more utility. He can't ultimate five people. And people are always going to say that Darius is better simply because of that fact, which is a little unfortunate for me. I love Garen, as I said. I've played the game for almost two years, and he's been one of my favorites. He's been one of my mains. Even when he was... Even before they buffed him where he actually could have 25 armor and MR at that one-point wonder. And before that, he was pretty outclassed. But... Morello posted on the forums, I saw it last night, saying that they want to tweak Garen. And I don't think that's necessarily needed. I think Garen's okay. What I think Garen needs is the ability to scale into the game without snowballing. With Darius, you can fall behind early, but as the game goes on, you're probably still going to get kills. I had a game with Darius where I started out pretty bad. It was against another Darius. I think I started out 2-4, and four, and I ended the game something like 14-6. and six. It was retarded how easily I came back. And you know, with Garen, if they both have all their items, he does more damage. But the problem is his farming isn't very good. So I think if they make it so he can farm a little bit better, uh, unfortunately, I don't want th I don't want them to, to make it so his uh, spin does more damage to Greaves. Maybe they could do it where they like they did with Hecarim, where he's 66% increase instead or decrease, or... six. He does 66% damage to creeps instead of half. That's what I'm trying to say. They like, stumble on all my words. Then I think he'd be okay, because he'd have the ability to farm a bit better, and he wouldn't rely on getting early kills to get his items to stay relevant. And, you know, people say that Garen gets kited and all that stuff. Garen can deal with kiting infinitely better than Darius can. Uh, and his his utility is better. His damage is better. It's just, his, he's got innate tanking abilities. Ugh. He just doesn't have a refreshed ult or the ability to scale without kills, and that's just unfortunate as a Garen player. But if you happen to agree or disagree with me, if you want to continue this little debate, please feel free to leave a comment below. I would love to do other matchups like this, matchup-based comparisons, etc. And if you have ideas for that or you would like to see more, please go ahead, you know, hit that subscribe button. You're doing me a favor. Uh, I'd love to hear from the people that watch these videos to try and improve, and, you know, if you enjoyed the video, uh, you know, slap that thumbs up, and if you hated the video, well, I can't do anything about that, you can feel free to hit the thumbs down button, but I simply ask that if you do hit the thumbs down button, that you simply feel have the courtesy to leave a comment and tell me why, and if it's simply because you think I'm an idiot, well, I can't do anything about that, but I, I looked at the numbers, I put a little bit of research into this, and I just thought it would be nice to share, because I know a lot of people are thinking Garen's useless, and that's just not the case, but my name has been High in Fiber, and I would like to say thank you for watching this video, and I will see you next time.